one and all. A warm welcome to all of you. Mental health is a state of emotional, psychological and social well-being. It affects how we think, feel and act. Honorable Correspondent Subramaniam Sir, Beloved Director Padma Ma'am, Executive Director Ani Ma'am, Principal Sunita Krishnan Ma'am, Vice Principal Sureka Ma'am, Teachers and all my dear students, a warm welcome to you. I would like to extend a warm welcome to the guest of honor, Dr. Anisha Mahendrakar, an international speaker, trainer, applied psychologist, hypnotherapist, and Riki healer. She is the curator for many workshops and has trained many people in different fields. She was awarded doctorate by UNO, United Nations Organization, Geneva, for applied psychology and hypnotherapy. She is a recipient of Young Achievers Award 2018. We have the honor of having the chairman of Basil Mind, Mr. Subiram Reddy, psychiatrist at Apollo Hospital, in addition of being the head of the enterprising company like Basil Mind. I would like to extend a gracious welcome to the team of Basil Mind, Ms. Lelin Tejashwini, Ms. Maria Milani, and Mr. Ram Pridvi Teja, counseling psychologist of Basil Mind team. I know you're used to being in school uh, for a large part of your life now and normally how it works in classes we're all happily sitting like this obediently teacher is teaching we are going to keep quiet isn't it so we are going to learn to forget that for this one hour only okay so only for this one hour we are going to change the rules a little bit yes so what we are going to do is, I am not going to sit here and give you a long lecture on anything. I will be asking you questions. I will be asking you to participate with me. And uh, the more you participate, the more lively you are, you will get small gifts as well. Just to encourage you and encourage me. Yeah. So we are going to keep this very lively. We are going to keep this as a discussion. So there is no right or wrong answer. I know in examinations there is a right answer and a wrong answer, but over here we don't have right and wrong answer. Whatever comes in your mind, I want you to be able to tell me that. So you think psychologist is a person who says, come on, you can do it. Is that what it is? Okay, that is one tiny bit of what we do. There is so much more, right? So on a day-to-day -day basis, right? So you go through a different situations. You meet different people, okay? And everybody's life experience is not the same. You are all in the same class, same age, different lives. You look different. Your likes are different, isn't it? What works for one person doesn't work for someone else. But if you are asking a psychologist, me, if you are asking me on a general note, how to deal with anger, first thing you need to pay attention to, it's a normal thing to feel angry. Most of you are asked to control your anger, isn't it? Control your anger. Don't be angry. Honestly, whoever is angry at that moment, you can't control. That is normal human tendency. Feeling your emotions is also normal. That's what makes you human. Do not control your emotions, but control your action after the emotion. Most of us break things, we yell at people, we say things which we should not be saying. That you control. Don't control what you're feeling. Are you able to understand the difference? So the tip for you to dealing with your anger, first, Stop fighting it. No, it's normal. Two, control your action after the anger. Don't control your anger. So what can you do to throw your anger out? So what we're going to do is, uh, from today, fix a routine for yourself. Pick the subject which you don't like. You don't like that subject. Nothing about the subject gets into your head. Pick a subject like that. Make it a point to study that subject at least for 40 minutes every day whether you understand it or not. You're practicing. See, a human body and the human brain, no? It is called a creature of habit. If you're doing something continuously, it becomes a part of you. How many dancers and musical instrument players in the group? Anybody who is into dancing instruments? So if you ask them how they remember, hands automatically move, legs, body automatically move. How does that happen? Overnight? Practice. So same thing with studies. The point is we don't start studying until tomorrow is the exam, isn't it? That is why you'll blank out. 
that is why you feel stressed because everything has its own capacity your brain has its own capacity how much it can take in at a moment if i fill in it will not take in it will spill out you are used to taking exams you are trained to take exams no need to feel scared whether you study at home or you study in school same person is taking exam isn't it right so if somebody is pressurizing you please understand it is their concern it's not that they are uh, not liking you you might feel oh i'm getting compared at home we get compared no why don't you score marks like your friend your neighbor somebody somebody scored well what about you don't underestimate yourself somebody keeps telling you you're not intelligent doesn't make you you're not intelligent you are who you are when it comes to studies when it comes to exams people have their anxiety which they are putting it on you they don't know what is going to happen so they're making you feel scared why are you taking that additional burden you do your best we'll see what happens all your life you have given exams even before you knew what an exam is you have given exam do you realize that lkg ukg did you know what exams were but you had exams no you passed it right now you know what exams are you will do better isn't it yeah so i want you to keep this in mind that whatever it is that you're going through your anxiety you're not, you're not the only unique person going through that lot of us have gone through it we have come out of it you're going through it you will come out of it you need to keep telling yourself this what i'm saying is we are scared of the exam per se we are not scared of life you are understanding my point you are scared because there is a paper you have to answer that paper in 2 hours or 3 hours and that will decide your life isn't it you already know this you are already well prepared how do i explain this to you let's say you are walking on this particular path correct and as you are walking uh, one person comes and keeps two chairs in the way what do you do you fall on the chair you go around it next time when you are walking back the chairs are still there what do you do you as it is maneuver it this is the power of your mind when you know there is a problem when you know there is an obstacle it has the inbuilt mechanism to work with it you don't need to consciously put effort the same road that you take to reach here or to walk to your campus there are certain stones that this on the way effectively you will go around it nobody will fall on the same stone in the same pit isn't it once you see you are aware awareness is important that is what i said these are small laws or uh, aspects on which the brain functions when you become aware of something if you think that this is important it will remain important so it's like when somebody loves you a lot they want the best for you isn't it your best friend's birthday you will give some random gift no you put so much of effort isn't it parents are also like that parents and teachers love you a lot their way of showing it is very different that's all okay so they love you a lot they want you to have the best they believe that getting best marks will give you the best life that's why they push you so know that this person likes you and it's okay if they say one or two things is all right you need to know that you have given your 100% right not everybody can be first ranker we all have our own limits but as long as you have given your 100% you don't need to worry there are a few skills these skills are called as soft skills and life skills where you learn how to communicate properly you learn how to work with your anger one or two demo kind of a thing i gave you today right about anger about stress so different aspects different uh, kind of experiences we go through certain skills we will learn to help us deal with that experience right so those of them who have learned these skills and they are using it effectively they are able to excel in all aspects of life as in career wise they are doing well money wise they are doing well personal life is good friends social life is good isn't that's what we want right so all round success requires skills and these skills are called as soft skills and life skills success is different for different people what i meant was consistent success and success in all areas not just feeling wise but materialistically as well that is what i meant but that's a brilliant ideology and i believe it as well so um thank you so much for being such a wonderful and interactive team and we really hope to see and meet you again soon and thank you to the management as well for giving us this opportunity and uh, thank you so much for having me yes thank you 
So I think this was an amazing session, especially at this point of time when we've just come out of a lockout and when we are kind of grappling with what is this thing which is happening around the world and how is life going to be. So I think today's session, Dr. Anisha, I think it was very effective in the sense that you kept stressing again and again when the children were asking questions, live in the moment. All the very best for a wonderful future and thank you so much. Basil Mind has come here and has now added a new flavor in our minds, especially the young minds over here and hopefully that will be carried out into the world. Thank you so much. Now we request our director Padma Subramanyam ma'am to come and share her views on the session. So I think this was a beautiful morning, a very useful morning uh, after we reopened after a long gap of lockdown, I would say. And I would like to thank Dr. Anisha for such a beautiful, you know, mind opening. You always deal with minds. Thank you so much, thank Dr. You, Anisha. And I would like all of you to stand up and give a big round of applause to the whole of the Basel Mind team over here because this is a kind of new initiative taken up by Basel Mind team to work with the mental health. We have people working with our physical health, but we have a group here in Nellore now working with the mental health, which is very, very important. Thank you so much to the wonderful team over here. You've really done a good job.